Uh, Miranda and Gwillem, congrats on the film. It's it's a wonderful time at the movies. Thank you. Miranda, I, I must I must say, is it uh, extremely satisfying for you to sort of like be able to represent your culture in an authentic way up on screen, especially in the guise of like a really feel good, fun sort of rom com? It feels incredibly empowering. I. The kind of comedy I love punches up. I feel like all art that punches up is powerful. Um, so uh, I, I really wanted to be honest about that. Mm. I really wanted to show also just how wonderful my hometown is and all the people that are in it. Um, and I'm so glad that I got to do that in such a joyous genre. Mm, mm. Yeah, it, look, it, it showcases you know the, the country so beautifully. Like I'm planning my next holiday, and I'm like, I'm going there. <gasps> <laughs> really? I'm yeah. so glad. Oh, totally. It's just like it's like the best like to, like tourist sort of uh, you know l lure ever. Oh look, uh, it's sh it's a shameless plug, and I'm not I'm not going to apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, hey, Gulen, was that like a, a, an appeal for you too to to do this film, like to come here and get to go on you know such amazing locations? Well, first and foremost, it was the story yeah. uh, and the opportunity to work with Miranda and Wayne. But yeah, I mean, like the opportunity to go to Catherine and Kakadu and all these kind of places and Tiwi, you, you can't say no to an opportunity like that. Yeah, for sure, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and what uh, what sort of drew you to the role? Um, of Ned and to sort of like I guess dip your toe in the, in the rom-com genre um, because, you know it's more than a, a rom-com this I think there's like so much heart to it and mm. uh, it's, it's about family and it's about um, you know it's about trying to connect to your heritage and to your roots and things like that and that's you know in this in this film it's about that takes shape in Tiwi and in, in the Northern Territory but I think everyone has their own version of, of that and that's something that I related to um, mm. I love Ned as a character, I think he's optimistic and positive and supportive of the woman that he loves. You know, maybe a bit indecisive and frustratingly naive at times. Mm. Um, but I can he, to that. He, so, well, so can I. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not much acting required. Maybe. <laughs> um, but um, but you know, I think there's something endearing about that. And um, yeah, that was another thing that appealed, I suppose. Yeah. Great. And, and Miranda, when conceiving this film, because I know obviously you co-wrote it, which is fantastic. Yes. Um, did you draw on a lot of, rom like, are you an aficionado of the romantic comedy genre or, or comedies yes. in general? Yes. yes. Like, yes. What's, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I, I, just, I just really enjoy coming home and curling up and watching rom-coms. It, it's my, it's my favourite thing to do. Um, I feel like... Uh, I feel like women's dreams and desires can often get policed. It's just really nice to see a, a woman be shameless and in, in asking for what she wants. And um, and I see, and that's at the heart of a, at, that's at the heart of a lot of rom coms. Mm. And I um, and I thought, okay, well, how do I put that in context of the Northern Territory? It was such a journey for me, but I'm so glad that uh, Joshua Tyler, my co-writer. Um, uh, who also loves rom-coms as much as I do, just uh, just told me to trust my gut and uh, be honest about um, who I am and uh, and who I belong to. I, I read that you were planning your real life wedding during this as well. Did, yeah. did life imitate art at any point? Was there, was there sort of any any crossover in terms of? Oh yes, like it was. It was a very joyous and exciting year last year, yeah. but it was also incredibly chaotic. Yeah, and <laughs> when it was just like an elaborate rehearsal for your real. It was such. Yeah. A, it was such a yeah, yeah yeah. I was and actually the 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 day itself was actually really went smooth because of I think of because of my knowledge of weddings. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, that's super handy. Super super handy. So you can say to your husband, "Don't worry, I've been married before." <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly how. I put it. You're going through two weddings in one year. That's a pretty ambitious slate for anyone. So good on you for surviving. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, it seems to be a staple of weddings as well, uh, like kind of like the long, uncomfortable wedding speeches, which your film mercifully skipped over. Yeah. Have either of you had to endure any horror uh, wedding speeches in, in, in your time? Um, oh, well, at, at, uh, at my <laughs> wedding, I thought that most of my friends and family were going to just really just say awkward things I didn't want everyone else to know about me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, what beans are you going to spill? Don't, oh, yeah, it's don't not, say it's too place. much. Don't say too much. Yeah. Um, but uh, all of them absolutely spoke from the heart, and I think that's because um, uh, the, the, the wedding I had was on my own volition, mm. just as in Top End Wedding. It's both Lauren and Ned's 
you know, choice to get married. Mm. And um, so it, it's almost, it almost seems bigger when people actively choose to make that decision in their life to be with that one person. And mm. so it, in some ways it, it's, it's more magical. Yeah, for sure. I, I love what I love about this film is you don't have the speeches, but you have the singing, and you have the jungle fountains. Oh, absolutely! And that's like those are traditions that you know, from a British point of view, I'd, I'd never seen before. But they're, you know, so beautiful to yeah. kind of immortalise those uh, traditions that are so specific to the TV Islands. Absolutely, yes. yeah, it's gorgeous. I think I think yeah, it's it's going to get everyone a bit teary eyed at the end with that with that happening. It's it's quite quite moving. Yeah, and I and I've loved that. Um, uh, that I was able to speak about my community in such a positive light. Uh, I hadn't grown up on the Tiwi Islands and uh, so I was quite apprehensive, I think, about making a film uh, that was about a community that I felt um, I needed to know more about. Mm. And I wanted to do that in the most honest and authentic way. So that was nerve-wracking, but I'm so glad that they were along for the ride the whole way and they knew that I wanted to celebrate them and I'm so, I'm so glad that they helped me out with that. Yeah, fantastic. And look, assuming this, I'm sure this movie is going to do great, um, now possibly sequels along the line, you could have top, top, uh, top end honeymoon perhaps. You, wow. could, you, you could get a bit darker down the track, top end divorce. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, we, could, we could franchise this thing, right? We met well, some, yeah. we met some uh, Territorial. Yes, didn't we, we did. We did. We were at Litchfield Park. I took Willem and the crew to Litchfield Park, and um, we we met this we met this guy who who isn't. I have to say, he's not reflective of all Territorians, but quite a large percentage of people are like him. Right. He just came up and um, just started having a conversation with us and asked what we were doing, um, what we were doing up there, and um, Willem told him we were making a film called Top End Wedding, and he said, "Oh." I know the sequel, Top End Divorce. You can, <laughs> you can come home to my place for some tips. <laughs> Quillen and I were just looking at each other thinking to ourselves he like... He's saying this with his, with his wife stood next yeah. to him. Yeah. Like, oh, oh no. Awkward, isn't it? I know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so it was a comedy within itself. But um, um, I, I, it'll be interesting to see uh, where... The, where this film goes and and yeah. what kind of life it has it's it's out it's it's out of my hands now i've given i feel like i've given uh my my heart and my soul out to everyone yeah 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 fantastic well i'm sure it's gonna do fantastic um and thank you very much for your time today guys appreciate it thanks thank you much. so much okay hmm. thanks